From morning routines to late night study sessions, coffee is cherished by millions of people worldwide as a beloved beverage that brings comfort and enjoyment. Whether sipped at the crack of dawn or savoured during a midnight cram session, it plays an important role in our daily lives. Definitivamente veo en ti Lo que hace tanto pero tanto tiempo Me faltaba a mí Aunque no sé si yo te guste Tan decididamente estoy aquí A lo mejor yo pueda conquistarte Y que creas en mí Y no aguanto más Todas las ganas que te tengo ya no más Voy a besarte y no me importa lo que pasará Si no lo hago ya Mañana voy a arrepentir mi duele más However, concealed within every cup of coffee lies a truth that remains unseen Do you know the real cost of that cup of coffee? As one of the world's most valuable agricultural products coffee is a staple of the stock exchange and its prices are heavily dependent on supply and demand over the last centuries, it has risen to become the second most commonly traded commodity after oil. Viéndonos eh, sometidos a, a, a bolsa, eh, pues la verdad es que es que nos hace, nos ha hecho bastante daño el mercado, el mercado tradicional. Eh, no tenemos precios fijos y nadie nos asegura. Que, que, que un precio nos dure eh, una buena temporada. Nombrarle el tema, bueno, pues el tema de vías, carreteras, que problemas álgidos que tenemos en la zona y es eh, el tema de infraestructura vial. Los que han tenido de pronto uh, la oportunidad de visitarnos saben cómo, cómo es ese tema. Las vías que, 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 que realmente pues corresponden a entes territoriales y nacionales realmente son olvidadas un mantenimiento acá de, 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 de una vía si no lo hace la comunidad y los entes nacionales o departamentales lo están haciendo cinco, cinco años o, o se demoran unos diez años en, en hacerlo entonces todo eso retrasa nuestra, nuestro desarrollo en el tema de, de caficultura Coffee has created an industry worth billions of euros, with many companies taking advantage of cheap coffee prices to maximize their profits. The true profits lie in the countries that import it. This industry generates an astounding 200 billion euro in revenue annually, but this massive sum is not shared equitably among all players in the supply chain. For instance, coffee exports amounted to only 20 billion euro in 2017 and 18, a fraction of the industry's overall revenue. Additionally, the coffee farmers responsible for growing the beans that make this industry possible only receive a paltry 10 to 15 percent of those 20 billion euro. The reality is that the farmers are left with a mere 2 to 3 billion euro to show for their hard work. Yet, the disparity between the coffee industry's substantial revenue and the meagre compensation that coffee farmers receive becomes all the more apparent when we compare the two, revealing a glaring gap of a frightening 99%. Therefore, they are granted an abysmally low compensation of only 1%.
This leaves us to question the fairness of an industry that generates such vast wealth but fails to ensure that those who contribute the most to its success are adequately compensated. But why is it that the coffee farmers themselves are unable to take measures to achieve fair compensation for their hard work? Coffee beans go through a complex supply chain before reaching the consumer. There are many intermediaries involved, including traders, exporters, importers, roasters and retailers, each of whom takes a cut of the final price. Todo lo vendía una la cooperativa, yo no hay no lavar y entregue, pero los precios pues nunca se han visto como favorables para uno. Pero lo que yo veo ahora y ese tema que hablaba antes de la informalidad es que el mercado se llena de intermediarios y realmente lo que le llega al campesino o incluso al recolector eh, son cantidades muy pequeñas económicamente hablando. But there are efforts being made to address the issues facing coffee farmers. Fair trade and direct trade models aim to provide a fairer deal for farmers and create a more sustainable coffee industry. Y yo creo que son como problemas que pueden tener solución si uno busca cerrar esa brecha entre el productor y el consumidor final. While the industry has faced numerous challenges, there is hope for the future, and that hope lies in speciality coffee, fueled by a profound passion for excellence in the cup. Luis, the visionary driving force behind Aroma Nativo, is on a mission to guide the new generation of Colombian coffee farmers toward the realm of speciality coffee. The goal in mind is to create a sustainable future where their unique expertise and premium beans are valued and their communities thrive. So my name is Luis Marcelino, I'm the CEO of Aroma Nativo. I'm from Portugal, my heart is from Colombia, and um, we are here producing great coffee. This project started in my mind four years and a half ago. I discovered the, the, the coffee farming here in Colombia and uh, I just love the country, I just love the culture. I feel myself a Colombian person. For me, it's one of the best coffees in the world. One measure is to conduct inspiring workshops for the emerging generation of coffee farmers in Colombia. In these workshops, he shares his comprehensive knowledge about various aspects of speciality coffee, including fermentation, flavor profile analysis, and cultivation. Okay, I'm an exporter and importer, but at the same time, for me, I see more myself like a developer of, uh, of coffee farmers, you know, because for me, it's more like a team. Each one of us, we have a role. It's in this order that we can, we can build a really enterprise, you know. It's also this uh, that is missing, uh, at least here in Colombia, is that sometimes agriculture is not seen like an, a, a, an enterprise, a company, you know. Entonces es por eso que en términos de en términos de, de, de perfiles sensoriales vamos a encontrar perfiles similares al mío. My goals, most likely, it's to work directly with the farmers and speak uh, really about uh, direct trade or uh, traceability. To work only with unknown farmers. The goals are to put these small holders or this new generation of farmers in Colombia 
uh, on the map of high, high quality specialty coffee because it's all about the new generations, uh, it's all about the future of uh, coffee farming uh, uh, in all Colombia. But what sets speciality coffee apart from the coffee you might find in your local grocery store? For one, it's often sourced from specific regions and farms where farmers take great care to cultivate coffee trees using sustainable and environmentally friendly methods. Lo que tengo en finca quiero innovar en cuanto a sabores, procesos y calidad, sí, okay. y incrementar la parte de reforestación en la finca porque es importante los árboles dentro del campo. Voy en esa dirección por uno por pasión y dos para que la, la empresa sea autosostenible. La finca. The cultivation and processing methods of speciality coffee beans can also influence the flavor. For instance, some speciality coffees are grown at higher altitudes, which results in slower ripening of the coffee cherries and can contribute to a more intense flavor profile. Nosotros lo mantenemos con sombrío de guamo. Toda la federación que hizo, pues nos formó un problema que teníamos que acabar la sombra, que porque el café necesitaba carga, pues todo el mundo que pues acá, pues mire cómo quedaron eso. Claro. Todo el mundo fue el que tenía un guamo, pues corte y, y deje la pura pele, lo que se seque. Y yo de un momento a otro dije, no, esto, esto no es así. Yo empecé a sembrar árboles y árboles y miraba que, por ejemplo, el cedro es muy buen sombrío. Y para mí, yo eso sigo lo que es el cachingo y el cedro, nunca en la vida lo dejaré de... De, de tenerlo, porque pues es uno va sosteniendo el medio ambiente y la caficultura es mucho mejor. Speciality coffee beans often offer complex flavors and diverse taste nuances that depend on factors such as origin, variety, processing and freshness. Flavors can range from fruity and floral to chocolatey, nutty, spicy or exotic. As part of this collaboration, they even build their own equipment such as specialized barrels required for fermentation. ¿Por qué voy en esta dirección? Porque tanto en el café como en cualquier industria, el volumen es el día a día, ¿sí? Y yo creo que cuando uno genera una propuesta de valor siempre va a tener mejores resultados. Crear una marca, un nombre, hacer mejores procesos, para el cliente va a tener muchísimo valor y para nosotros también porque nos van a reconocer. No, super. These workshops serve as an inspiring example of the passion and dedication of Luis and the farmers to constantly improve the quality of their coffee beans and expand their knowledge in the field of speciality coffee. Right now we are working with six producers. It's uh, more than six families because you have also the families that work for these producers. In the future, the idea is to have more and more producers uh, that can learn with us, that we can manage to educate them how to produce high quality coffees. <laughs> mi carrera de caficultor de especialidad. Siento que somos un grupo joven con ganas de, de sacar lo mejor de nuestras fincas. Queremos que Aroma Nativo crezca a la par que nosotros crezcamos. The production and sale can bring significant benefits to the farmers. Speciality coffee sells for a higher price than commodity coffee, and this means that farmers can earn more for their product. In addition, the demand for it encourages farmers to focus on quality rather than quantity, which can lead to more sustainable farming practices and higher yields in the long run. Speciality coffee is about more than just great taste. It's about creating a sustainable and equitable coffee industry that benefits everyone, from the farmers and workers who grow the coffee to the consumers who enjoy it. While this industry is still relatively small compared to the commodity coffee industry, its growth potential and positive impact cannot be overlooked. 
As the demand for speciality coffee continues to grow, it's clear that this segment of the coffee industry is here to stay. So the next time you enjoy a cup of coffee, consider exploring the world of speciality coffee and discovering the unique flavors and stories behind each cup. Quiera que te encuentres, quiero que sepas que mis errores son muy grandes. Como te extraño, mi amor. Sé que otro amor encontrarás que te dé luz, que te dé paz, que te dé todo lo que yo no supe darte. Ser abrazarte, pero sé que no merezco tu perdón, que lastimé tu corazón y hoy naufrago en este mar de tu abandono. Y yo me perdono y te amo, te amo. Soy un idiota, te perdí, pero te amo. Te amo